Hello friends, in this video I'm going to make this uh, drop down with headless UI. Okay, so right now if I click outside it's not uh, going to close. We can implement this with view, but I'm going to do this with uh, headless UI. If you go to headlessui.dev and choose the view because we are working with the view. Here we have the menu and I'm going to do the same thing we have here. Okay, and also if you click outside, yeah, this work. So copy this one, and I'm going to open the VS Code inside the resources JS. I'm going to create new component here, and say drop down dot view, and paste that code in. Now I'm not going to use with uh, icons right now, so or maybe remove this one and as always say setup and now also remove the imports now we need to also remove the icons from here okay next is this one uh, the edit and uh, this one okay save now if I go to the navbar here we have casts and after the cast we have the channel but I'm going to add it here the drop down and I'm going to import also Close, hit save, run the npm run watch, and wait, refresh now, and uh, here we have this one, but it's not working as expected, so go here, and first I'm going to remove this div here, okay, save, from here, a refresh, and now we have right here. Okay, next is uh, when we have this absolute, I'm going to give it also the let's see. I think we have this. C30 here. Yeah. So refresh. And yeah, now we have something like this. Also, I'm going to change the look to be the same thing we have for the genre button. So copy this, come here, and this button. I'm going to paste that in and say here genres ok refresh and now we have this genres and this one and also I'm going to add this uh, arrow here so the navbar we have this SVG I'm going to copy this and paste it after the channels, hit save and refresh now. Okay, we have this SVG, but it's not changing because here it's changing, and that's it because the SVG changed the rotate if the state is open or it's not open. And in the drop down, we don't have the open state right, right now. And we can add as a prop, or if you go to the headless UI, and we can uh, say here, yeah, we can add to the menu this V slot open. And if I copy, come here, go to the menu, 
and add this vslot open and now also we need to say this vshow open to the div so to this uh, before the to this one okay save come here to refresh and yeah now if i click you see here we also change that okay next one is we need to give it the width of this one so go to the nav bar and we give it the width full here and also an md with 36 copy this and say here with full and also md with 96 save and the refresh and yeah now we have something like this next one is the add so i'm going to remove this uh, menu item v slot and also i'm going to remove all the others so this div this div and also the menu item here i'm going to give only one in here now i'm going to do what we have here so copy this one and paste it to this uh, menu item yeah right here and if i save right now and come here refresh click to the genre and we have this thing because we need to change the class here to the div and i'm going to keep it the same thing we have in the nav bar so paste that in save refresh and why we have this thing here now so with this that this div okay we need to give it the as as a div save a refresh and now we have something like this okay next one here now i'm not going to add a button but i'm going to add a link so i'm not going to i'm going to copy this one and paste it right here we don't need the before here because we have in the menu item and next is that's it oh we need to import the, the link so import the link from inertia view save okay refresh and uh, we have something like this is that is working but uh, we don't have the same style and why we have that if i inspect element so we have this div flex okay and uh, 
Also open this one. Mm. We have another div here. So we have a div. Okay. And maybe that's is because we give it as as a div is I say if I say as a template here. And save, refresh, okay, now we have the same thing, okay, refresh again, and yeah, we have the same thing we have here, and now if I click outside, yeah, it's working, if I inspect elements, go to the something like this first one click outside yeah go there okay and with that now we can do go to the nav bar and remove the this div here leave the drop down okay save Refresh. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.